Hey, welcome to Weld.com. I, uh, I broke my baby spoon. Got a little problem here. Cast aluminum. I never know what, you know, I never know what these are alloyed with. This apparently is a hall pass for somebody at their school. And I can't tell if it's been welded before. Matter of fact, I think I do see a weld over here. Somebody sanded on it. Anyway, the attempt here is to uh, maintain this brake. It's a pretty fine brake. So I want to get this thing tacked up and then I want to go into it and open it up with a carbide burr. I have a couple of carbide burrs here from Ferd. It's an inox cut and I want to go in here and open this up and bevel it slightly so I can get down into this and, and get some weld metal in it. I'm not sure how we're going to finish this off, if they want to see the weld or if we want to blend it back. I'll know more when we get there. Uh, again, cast aluminum. I'm going to be running off of Everlast 200 dB, 8th inch tungsten. I don't have any preheat to start with, so I'm just going to try to get a tack for my fit. And then we're going to go in this thing and open it up, try to butter some material in. <laughs> I got a couple of tacks on here and surprisingly went way better than what I expected. <clears throat> Number one thing I expect, this thing is cast so it's going to go all over the place. And it kind of did at first. Also I have my machine set where I'm on uh, about 40% cleaning action and I've lowered my hertz. And I want to do that because I want this to be a little soft. I want that cleaning action and then I expected my tungsten to kind of go away and it did. It made a nice little ball on the end of it. It was sharpened to a, a really hard point. I maybe should have truncated or flattened that point, but again, I knew it was going to kind of go away and that's what I want. Main thing here is, you know, we're, we're welding on some material that we know is going to be kind of rank. So we're going to boil some impurities out of there until we get where we can butter some stuff in. These tacks went pretty good. And hopefully I can turn this around and manipulate it. I don't have any tacks on the other side, so I've got to be real careful. And I want to go in and open up this, this, uh, this crack on the front side where I can get a little bevel in here and get some stuff working. Sometimes when you get the right conditions on aluminum, that your aluminum will absorb and fall into the material for penetration and I'm not going to depend on that solely so again I've got to be real careful I may even come out here and tack the corners out here at the edge to give it a little more strength so that if I get frisky with it I'm not bending this thing around but I've got to come in here with the carbide burr yep that's carbide burr I got to come in here and I got to open this thing up carefully and try to get into it where I can get some weld material in here. Okay, I've opened this up with the uh, carbide burr <clears throat> and I want to I, I want to kind of start into this tack. I've left the tack on there a little bit and I want to come in here and fill this and get down inside there quite a ways. 
<clears throat> used correctly, I, you know, I think I was putting a little too much pressure trying to go into it, and that's where I was getting the chatter on there. The carbide burrs work best if you're just, just wiping them, and the, that way that it doesn't load up on the flute of the carbide burr, and I was able to chip and cut this fairly quickly. So I'm gonna weld this part of it, leave the weld alone, turn it over, and back bevel the other side and try to get some try to get some good mass down inside this throat of this weld here, this spoon, baby spoon. I, I did this in halves. I had it beat out with the uh, carbide burr, and I came in here off the edge, started on my tack, waited for that to heat up, which it actually heated up way quicker than I thought it would. And I was able to start, and I came up here about halfway, and then I turned it around and did the other side of it. I fixed a couple of spots over here that didn't look like it wetted in on the toe of the weld, and then the last thing was a little what I thought was a little bug hole, but it was just a piece of pepper that was floating in my weld. But I had come in here and, and kind of floated this one up, and now I'm up to the top and I have a little profile. Again, I don't know how the customer wants this finished out. If they want to leave the weld on there, they might want to do that for strength, you know. And now I'm ready to turn this over and get into the backside and try to cut this down again. I'll waste these two tacks and I'll try to carefully cut into this thing where I can get some, some good weld metal in it. I turned this over <clears throat> I shaved into it I started out wasted the tacks on there and got into it I didn't get aggressive out here on the edge because this thing kind of comes out to a point and I used the carbide burr to shave into this thing and I could see the crack where it was broken on this back side here and I got down into the material enough where I think number one I don't see a crack anymore but I think I'm gonna sink in there anyway when I push the wire in. Should the, the aluminum wire should absorb into this casting. And then I came out here on the outside of this weld area and cleaned up around it as well. This thing, this carbide burr is performing extremely well. Um, very light pressure and the flutes are not loading up and this thing's cutting pretty good. Again, I don't know what this material is, but it seems like it's welding okay. It's pretty easy to work with. So, so far, so good. Everything is going my way.
So when I veed this out, <clears throat> I got in there kind of deep, a couple of subtle things when I was coming across it. I started here, I was going this direction. I've since turned this thing around. I started out when I got to the middle, I hammered on it a little bit to make this aluminum sink. When I got out here to the edge, I could decrease my amperage quite a bit and I'm still wetting in nicely. I went and brushed it and now I've turned it around and I'm gonna try to do this final pass. These are kind of a sharp edge as this thing, it's got a radius on the top side and this is flat and sharp. So I think I can see why this thing broke because it's pretty flexible in here and this bending back and forth pretty good. Anyway, this should be the last weld that we put on there and then we'll see if the customer wants to sand it flat and try to blend it all in, okay? I'm gonna go over the toes of those welds slightly. Jeannie, your part's done. You presented quite the problem this morning. I introduced this as my baby spoon. <laughs> it's anyway, quite a baby. Um, cast aluminum, remember we said it could be strange, it could be weird because of what's in castings, and but we actually did some stuff on the machine to make it weld better, and it actually went really well. Um, grooved it out, we tacked it so that we maintained the fit, straightness, and all that, and then we started grooving it with some carbide burrs, some tools to put a nice little bevel in there. You were talking about discoloration on the back side. Uh, yeah, I don't it, see that there is any. It didn't happen. And this was kind of weird because when somebody welded this bracket on here, like they went in and grooved them out and polished them or something, and I was looking at that. But when I tacked them on there, it, you know, it kind of went weird for a second and then it fell into place. And I was worried about discoloration, but I put a fair amount of weld back there. This one's the one I'm worried about. And the reason I'm worried about it is this thing still flexes quite a bit. So what's this, well, what is this again? This is actually a hall pass <laughs> for <laughs> the culinary department at Osceola Fundamental High School. Um, hard for the kids to get in trouble walking around uh, the hallways with a giant spoon. That's cool. Well, so now we need to make a decision. We want that, we want that to stay there or do we want to try to use some abrasives and blend all that out? If you could blend it out, that would be fabulous. Okay. okay, that may be another segment. Anyway, we appreciate you bringing the problem to us. It worked out well. I, I appreciate all, you fixing it. It's and all problem uh, solving. So, Cast so aluminum. The, so, I appreciate it, and so do the culinary instructors at Osceola. Cool. Thanks for watching Weld.com. I hope you found this educational. I guarantee you I did. I learned something on this one. I've never seen a... Big old, <laughs> big old spoon. Big old hall pass. That's cool. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram as well. Thanks for watching Weld.com. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yo, man cub, can I borrow a spoon yeah. for a minute? Yeah, that's a ticket. <laughs>